Hi, I'm Bill Roper, CEO at Flagship Studios. Well, today we've got the absolute latest build of Hellgate London. Uh, it's the same thing we're working with in the Alpha right now that we just started a few days ago. Uh, brought uh, the first two apps and even set up a couple character classes that are right outside some uh, big kind of like early mid-game quests to kind of show off some different elements that people haven't seen yet. Uh, Hellgate London is an action RPG that's uh, really designed around a lot of the philosophies we had when we uh, worked on the Diablo series. So randomization, every time you go out an adventure, it's all randomized. Uh, it's also instance gameplay, so we have underground stations that are your hubs where you have community and economy. When you're online playing, you meet with all your friends, build your guild, auction items, you know, trade back and forth. But then every time you go out and play, it's an area that's randomly generated just for you and the, and the group that you're playing with. Uh, also, a lot of customization uh, and just tons and tons and tons of loot. We like loot. Uh, Hellgate really has kind of a, a three-tiered approach for the gamers. So, uh, one, it's a standalone product. You can buy the game out of the box, play it offline at home by yourself. Probably get about somewhere between 30 and 40 hours of storyline play. Uh, obviously, there's still a lot of replayability there. You can do it with different classes. And because everything's randomized, it's not just the exact same path every time. Uh, then you can go online, and we kind of have in our minds what is that D2 Plus experience. So you can go through, play that same game online with your friends for free. It's client servers, so it's secure. Um, there's also a lot of stuff we're able to do that we didn't do with the Diablo games. Uh, guild support, auctions, uh, you know, a lot of community things that are there. So it's actually you know, even more than we were able to do uh, back in the, the battle net in Diablo 2 days. Then, for people that kind of want to go along uh, for that long-term ride on the game, uh, then we have a subscription model, and that's for continuing content. Right now, we're in alpha testing, um, so our testing process always kind of determines when we're launching. Um, you know, we're still pushing to get things done this summer. It's all going to depend. Um, you know, definitely it'll be this year. Uh, we, we don't want to go any further than that. Nobody does. We know we don't have to. Um, but after spending, you know, almost four years now on the game, we don't want to come out a couple weeks too early, you know, if we could have taken those last two weeks and gotten those last things fixed, but we're still pushing, you know, towards summer and it'll just, uh, how the, the game will tell us when it's ready. Maybe that's the best way to put it.